FL Studio 21, when is it dropping? What are the new features? These are all questions that everybody's talking about in the FL Studio producer community. I have the beta version. You can get it also. I'll show you how to get it and I'll show you all the new features that I like and all the new features that are coming in FL Studio 21. Let's get right into it. So the first one that came out a while back is this new browser. You can do different things with the favorites. Click on this and you can see down here that you can adjust your volume preview right here. So if you set it about halfway, Anytime that you want to preview one of these samples, it's not going to blow your eardrums out, which is kind of cool. The other really dope thing is the fact that you can right click on here and you can add a tag to any sample. So that way you can type that tag in this little box down on the bottom and it'll pop up in a list. It also detects a lot of them automatically and it goes by keywords. So for instance, if you just type in snare, it's going to pull up every single thing that has the word snare in it in your entire library. Just to go back to that tag feature, you can add a tag here or you can add one of the tags that you've already created. So you can create a brand new tag here and you can write in claps. You can just go back here and you can add claps. Now it's in your list of tags. Up in the top, you can see that we have a new look with these tabs. You can right click on it, you can rename it, you can close that tab. You can do a zoom and you can do different sizes here. You can add more tabs. You can really customize this whole tab section, which is great. Next up, one of my favorite new features has everything to do with the audio clips and the way that they're presented now, the way that you can edit the volume and the crossfades. Any loop that you drag in now, you can adjust the gain right from this knob. So you don't have to go into this knob anymore or this knob. Now you can also see here that we have these little tabs up in the corners. We can pull and we can do easy crossfades. And you can see in this little menu right here that we have show crossfades editing. You can turn that on and off. I'm probably always going to leave that on from now on. Also, we have the zero crossing and then we have our stretch button, which is this from now on. So you can see now if that's on, it's going to stretch our audio clip. Here's a feature that just got added in the new updated beta version. And this is something that everybody has always been asking for to bring back. I believe they had it in the past. I'm talking about custom themes inside FL Studio. So you could change the colors, the look of everything to do that. We're going to go up to options, general settings. We scroll down, we have select a theme. And now from here, I believe that they're going to give us maybe some templates once the full version is out. But for right now, we can customize anything from scratch. You can go to light mode. You can see everything kind of flip and change. You can change the saturation. You can see the colors sort of changing brightness. Whoa. We can change the text and we can bring the brightness of the text up. You can also change all the color schemes to everything. So this is like the step sequencer. What's the color coding of that? So say we wanted to change it to red and then we wanted to go maybe like a green. Go to red on this one. We hit accept. So we got the odds and then the evens we can change to maybe green. Looking like Christmas over here. You have an A, B. So you can see what the difference is between the two. And then you could save that preset and you can go back and forth. You can go back to the default right there. It's always going to save them. So another new feature, if we go over to options and file settings, you know, before the auto save was every five minutes and before risky operations, we now have an option to do it every minute and before risky operations, which I'm going to leave it on that because you know, a lot can happen within five minutes and you can lose a lot of information. If we move over to general settings, we want to focus on put undone recordings in the recycling bin. This is on by default. If it's not, then you're going to be losing those recordings forever. So if you do just undo recordings and you say, damn, I want to go back, maybe five recordings, they'll be in your recycling bin. You can go check it out. And there's a maximum of undo levels. Put that all the way up at 999. Leave that at the highest. I believe that's a new feature as well. There's a new plugin called multi band and delay. I'm going to drop the sample in on this channel right here and open it up. This is what it says in the forum about this plugin. It's a unique and powerful sound design tool. The process splits an incoming signal into 16 frequency bands and allows you to adjust delay, volume, and panning for each band. So this is going to be great for flipping samples and chopping them up and making them sound unique and different. Go through this forum and, you know, look at the details and the directions on how to use these plugins, the new features and everything, because that's going to greatly improve your skills and your workflow. And it's going to take out a lot of time where you're just kind of fiddling around with the new features. Another new plugin is an effects plugin. It's called Luxverb. Self-explanatory, this is a reverb plugin, but as you can see, it goes super in depth. We can change different envelopes, has all these different settings in the reverb section and the feedback section. You can adjust different pitches of that reverb. Let me know if you'd like me to go into full detail about all these new plugins. I can make a video specifically about these plugins. That way I can let you listen to how they sound and how they affect certain things and instruments. Another new plugin is actually a patcher insert. You have to open up patcher as a VST instrument 
inside of the channel rack and then you can route it like this so it goes from the vfx sequencer into whatever plugin you'd like what it does is basically it just gives you different sequences you can really customize it think of it as like an arpeggiator but like on steroids pretty much it has all these different presets that you can choose from and you can scroll through them like this and it's going to give you a sound And you can customize that as well. You can go even more in depth by clicking on these little buttons over here. It gives you a lot more features by clicking on those. You can do different filters, different arpeggiator settings here, different steps, gate time, different scales. You can get super in depth with this. You can adjust the velocity, the octave, the gate time, the step time, the scale on each individual note. So you can get really in depth and create your own presets here. So that's going to do it. If you're as excited for FL Studio 21 as I am, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.